Yesterday, Disney hosted its grand opening of Avengers Campus at Avengers Campus, and it gave us our first look at some really interesting things going on inside the new Marvel-themed land. And today, on this episode of Fresh Bake, we're going to take a look at some of those really cool things. And I mean, some of it is really quite impressive, uh, unexpected. I'm looking forward to this. We're going to get our first look at the Spider-Man Stuntronic, right through footage of Web Slingers, the first footage of any kind of the Doctor Strange show, uh, we're going to take a look inside web suppliers. We're going to find some magic beer. <laughs> and we're going to see what characters are found in the land, including an unexpected and kind of momentous reveal. All this coming next on Fresh Baked, and we're going to start with this. Spider-Man, you're needed at Avengers Headquarters. The ceremony is underway. Program for maximum altitude. Nice trajectory, Spider-Man. According to my calculations, you're only 30 seconds late. I mean, it's kind of perfection, really. This is pretty much exactly how I had imagined it. Actually, I take the fact, it's more than what I imagined. Because after the launch, he then crawls down the side of a building, which I was not expecting. If Disney somehow manages to make this a permanent part of the Avengers Campus Day, it will become the place to be at DCA. This is exactly the kind of thing that draws guests into a place and, and what makes them stay there. We're going to ask others, you know, did you see the Spider-Man show? You have to see the Spider-Man show. Oh my god, I missed the Spider-Man show. I've got to come back. Let's get back to DCA as soon as possible so we have another chance at seeing the Spider-Man show. And actually, there's, there's more, too. Uh, you remember the cranes? I wondered what the other cranes were for, but apparently they're for dangling. <laughs> and this is what a this is what many of us are going to be coming to Avengers Campus for. A chance to see something really cool like that that feels limited, it feels exclusive. This is, you can't see this anywhere else in any park uh, at Disneyland or anywhere else. And there's going to be more action like this around Avengers Campus, but we're going to get to that in just a minute because first, I want to take you to uh, Web Slingers. Let's get our first look inside the, the attraction, inside the queue, and a little uh, ride through footage. It looks like the queue takes you through, I don't know, like the workspaces around web, which is pretty standard for this type of thing. Uh, there's the ride vehicle, definite Midway Mania vibe here. And by the way, I know people are going to make that comparison to Midway Mania, and it's earned. It's very similar, uh, just the way, not necessarily the action, you know, the, the, the web slinging action, but the ride vehicles, the, the track, the way it takes you from station to station, which we're going to see in a minute. But the, I mean, it's still its own attraction. This space here shows a mix of a, of a practical set, all that you see there in the front, in the foreground, uh, and then with a screen in the background, where right now you're just seeing a spider bot, but that's where you're gonna see Peter Parker doing a demo of the spider bots, you know, before things go terribly wrong. You know, this is a land full of superheroes, but somehow, once again, we're getting, <laughs> it's our job to save Avengers Campus. I mean, Black Widow's right over there. You just showed me Black Widow, she can handle this. Love the whiteboard. This is a cool effect here putting a screen inside the HVAC, uh, showing the spider bots getting loose inside the building, kind of sets the stage. Uh, yeah, so the, the action takes place uh, on the spider bot assembly line. And uh, the ride itself, again, is, is a pleasant combination of, of practical sets and, and then screens. With the, with the practical parts, the sets, providing a kind of a realistic frame around the screens, which is my favorite way for them to give more believability to, to the screen effect. Rather than just showing you the screen and nothing else, surround it with real stuff uh, and then let the screen be kind of secondary behind it. It's kind of like what they did recently at Snow White, which was obviously a different scale, but you get my idea. Okay, this is the opening scene and you're immediately into the action. And I, I love that even though the Spider-Man, you know, gesture or whatever you want to call it, isn't required, literally everyone does it. I mean, you can't help but not do it, I would imagine. Uh, the various screens you encounter appear to take you throughout uh, throughout the campus. This one here uh, is near the Avengers headquarters. You can kind of see Mission Breakout there in the background. Uh, and then there's another one, I believe, that takes you into Pimp's Kitchen, for example. I'm really looking forward to showing you more of this attraction. Uh, the, the ride itself, the queues, the, the building, what kind of thematic elements are being played in there. I'm also kind of looking forward to showing a demo of how the uh, web shooters work, because I do intend to get one of those. I'm not sure if, well, I don't know if I'm going to be able to ride tomorrow. Oh my god, I get to ride this tomorrow. I get to hopefully cross my fingers, ride this tomorrow. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to have the web shooter, because I, I want to do it without it, I think, as well. But I'm only going to get one chance to ride, so we may save the web shooter 
preview or demo for another for another visit. By the way, peep the single rider queue. That's a that's a literal sign. Uh, there's going to be single rider for for uh, for web uh, web slingers. I, I cannot web slingers, web suppliers, web shooters. I get these things confused all the time. Looks like there's also going to be a queue for standby. Obviously, but nothing observable for FastPass. Now I have heard that FastPass machines, the little readers, the little circle reader for your phone, those I have heard that those were installed on the ground for the cast member preview, uh, but they don't appear to be visible anywhere in this footage. Now I'm not sure if they took them out or if we just can't see them, but it does. From what I understand, there there will be FastPass for this attraction. The sign says standby and single rider. The fact that they have a standby queue does suggest or infer that they're trying to differentiate that perhaps from a future uh, FastPass queue. And I, I would imagine that this is something that they can uh, remove and then reinstall fairly easily, the signage and all that stuff. So I'm not too worried about it not showing anything there. Uh, but that's something that we're going to look out for you know, in future visits, how long it takes for them to get FastPass for, uh, for web slingers. <laughs> now, we, we talked about in a construction video that mysterious building over there that's off to its right as you enter the, uh, as you enter the land. I, I mentioned this on TikTok. Uh, I, it is my belief that that is what that is. It's going to be the fast pass station, not just for web, for web slingers though, but for any attraction that eventually has fast pass or has fast pass now in Avengers Campus. So you probably can get a fast pass for Mission Breakout at that uh, at that station, because we did see that they removed the fast pass stations or the kiosks from Mission Breakout. There you go. Okay, so next let's take you just down the way across the street to Web Suppliers. I got that one right. This is where you can get your web tech. The infamous web shooters, already infamous, which, by the way, I must say they do look pretty cool on. Plenty of spider bots for sale and a spider bot battle arena. Stay tuned for a complete tour of web suppliers. That is, we're going to do a whole separate video on this store by itself. Uh, we're going to show you every bit of merchandise that's in there, all the merch, all the prices, and hopefully a demo of the uh, battle arena. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to bring mine, but hopefully people will be uh, doing a little battle there, and we can show you that as well. Next, let's go to the Doctor Strange area, and this is now this is going to be our first footage that, that I have ever seen. I, I know nothing about what they're going to be doing, or knew nothing, <laughs> about what they're going to be doing at Doctor Strange, so this is quite a reveal. Proper assumption is that it's some kind of magic show, for lack of a better term, and I am absolutely loving the sling ring portal for Doctor Strange's entrance and exit for the show. You can see through the portal that he's uh, here via portal at the Sanctum Centaurum in New York. You've got your mystical cabinets. A mysterious cauldron, uh, and I believe that there are videos out there that are, that are of the complete show. So uh, I, I I don't remember where I saw it, but there's a, there's a complete footage of all that. I'm not, I'm choosing not to watch it myself because I want to see it with my own eyes for the first time when I get there tomorrow. That is something I definitely be doing. We'll be recording that and providing that for you. Of course, stay tuned to Fresh Bake for the Doctor Strange show very very soon. But it's not just about the show. It's not just about the Doctor Strange show. This is going to be as much about the setting. Uh, as it is, you know, the, the show itself. I mean, just take a look around. This is going to be the place to be, uh, especially at night, to just hang around and, you know, maybe have some shawarma or, or a drink or something like that. I am personally, as I've said a hundred times, a sucker for lighting effects, and these, I think, are going to look fantastic at night. Looking forward to Doctor Strange. That has been one of my most anticipated areas, and uh, I, I want to I wanna feel this. I want to experience this, especially at night. Uh, pausing now for Iron Man. I did not think we'd be seeing Iron Man as a character on the ground, but there you go. Uh, I have to say, he doesn't look half bad, considering you know this, he's got to actually walk around in that suit for like a while. Here's the Black Panther. The Dora Malahe. They're going to do a whole training exercise in the park. You got Captain Marvel. Black Widow. Black Panther again. Climbing the walls, very cool. And remember a little earlier I talked about another stunt show that's going to be happening inside Avengers Campus. Let's take a peek at that. And again, this is, this is what we're here for, a, a show. This is the kind of thing that immerses guests into the experience as a whole, transforming us to a time and place. Not necessarily, you know, fantasy or anything like that, but in Avengers Campus. It, it, puts you, it puts you in Avengers Campus, not at Avengers Campus. That's what these shows do. They make you feel like you're part of it. Here's the hoping that Disney finds some way to keep this and the Spider-Man show going 
permanently uh, because it's it makes all the difference. Anyway, while we're in the neighborhood of the Avengers headquarters, let's take a look at Pym's test kitchen. First look we've seen of the interiors, very roomy. Uh, no tables that I can see, which is interesting. I wonder if that's going to change, you know, post-COVID. There's a quantum tunnel up there which appears to feature the infamous giant pretzel. Oh, check this out. There's a digital menu outside the location. This is, this is new for Disney. I don't think I've ever seen this anywhere. But I have seen this at Harry Potter Town over at the Three Broomsticks. So the, the not-so-little chicken sandwich is in fact real. I was, <laughs> I was wondering if it was some kind of optical illusion. But yes, that is an oversized chicken on an undersized bun. And it looks like they just might actually serve that vegan meatball in a giant spoon. Don't steal the spoons. You ruin it for everybody. If you do that, you're not, you're, you're not one of us, okay? Don't steal the spoons. I know it's going to be very tempting to take one of those home, although they, they probably wouldn't fit in anything but the biggest backpack. But still, don't even think about it. Please, don't steal the spoons. We've heard about Pim's Test Lab. That's, the, that's the, the, where they serve alcohol. And it's a bar. It's, it's, it's an actual Test Labs is a bar. I love it. There's your magic beer that I <laughs> alluded to earlier. That's going to be a much talked about feature. Uh, I know it's a simple thing. It's like it's kind of like you know, like a, you know, like the Pepper's Ghost effect at the Haunted Mansion. It, it's it's not exactly new technology, but still, it's fun. It's interesting, and it makes people go, "Ooh, my God, look at that magic beer!" I'll be eating at Pimp's Test Kitchen and the Shawarma Palace pretty much all day Friday, I think. So stay tuned again for our review of everything to eat hopefully, <laughs> at Avengers Campus. And with that, we will conclude with the aforementioned uh, unexpected but momentous reveal at the end of the uh, grand opening ceremony. We've already seen that pretty much all of our favorite Marvel characters are going to be there, uh, if we're to believe what we've seen in the video and on the ground, including Captain America, Sam Wilson, Captain America. Loving this choice and loving Anthony Mackie's statement when they revealed uh, Sam Wilson as Captain America. America belongs in Avengers Campus. So he does. Captain America belongs in Avengers Campus. Another thing to watch out for, and you can count on Fresh Bake to cover it, so be sure you are subscribed to Fresh Bake and you have turned on your notifications. We're going to have a ton of coverage coming from Avengers Campus in the next few days, so hopefully you all can keep up because I do not, I do not plan to sleep for probably the next five days or so. I'm going to be living on coffee, giant pretzels, and shawarma. Uh, <laughs> working day and night to bring you every ounce of coverage that we can from Avengers Campus. So stay tuned. Follow us on Instagram at underscore Fresh Baked, on Twitter at Fresh Baked Disney, that's fresh with no E, and on TikTok at Fresh Baked Disney. And if you enjoy our show and you want to show your support, please do consider joining our Patreon campaign at patreon.com slash Fresh Otherwise, be safe out there, everybody. Be kind to one another. And Fresh Baked!